what went up, must come down. The 356-foot-wide galactic vessel serving more than 30 years in space as the world's cosmic crash pad, NASA has said that the International Space Station will be deorbited and come hurtling down the 227 miles to Earth's surface at a rate of 17,000 miles per hour in January 2031. Don't worry it won't leave Nagasaki behind or come down on any people. Rather it will meet its watery demise in an uninhabited part of the South Pacific Ocean called Point Nemo. Sometimes called the Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility or the South Pacific Uninhabited Area, the Marine Zone has for decades been used as a graveyard for old space equipment, such as satellites and rocket debris. NASA called the waters of Point Nemo pretty much the farthest place from any human civilization you can find. Many old satellites and other space debris have crashed there, including the Russian space station Mir in 2001. The International Space Station ISS, a joint venture which involved five space agencies, launched in 1998, has hosted astronauts from 19 countries in their scientific ventures and has orbited the Earth over 100,000 times. More than 3,000 research investigations have taken place in its microgravity laboratory. However, it is only approved to operate until 2024, and any extension must be agreed upon by all partners. NASA highlighted the Biden administration's commitment to keeping the station open for the next decade, writing that the station is busier than ever with crews on board advancing the technologies and procedures that will be necessary to send the first woman and first person of color to the moon and the first humans to Mars. After three decades, the private sector will be taking over operations in future space travel and NASA will continue to support the transition, it also added that it would encourage and incentivize commercial companies that overtake space duties in 2031 to reach out to students and develop the next generation of space pioneers. Phil McAllister, the director of commercial space at NASA headquarters, also added in a statement, we look forward to sharing our lessons learned and operations experience with the private sector to help them develop safe, reliable, and cost-effective destinations in space. The agency will save $1.3 billion by transitioning to the private sector for activities in low Earth orbit and that money saved on space station maintenance may be applied to NASA's deep space exploration initiatives, allowing the agency to explore further and faster into deep space. Last year, a Russian space official warned of small cracks in the ISS structure that engineers fear may become too big and expensive to repair to maintain the structure going forward. ISS was examining the recent technical issues aboard the Russian segment. The space station, about the size of a football field, has continuously housed astronauts since the year 2000, though it was originally intended to operate for only 15 years. The future of NASA's missions, to the Moon, Mars, and beyond, rely on the younger generation. Today's youth are tomorrow's Moon and Mars explorers. Today's youth are tomorrow's scientists, engineers, and researchers, NASA wrote in its final report. What do you guys think about taking down the legendary ISS and handing over space operations to private companies? Let's discuss it in the comment section.